Today, moms and kids spent the morning at BL Miller Elementary getting blood tests to see if there's lead in their bodies. The Mahoney County District Board of Health says five out of 176 people tested with a blood level more than five. Those test results were made available right away, and those five did meet with environmental specialists. With more on the testing process, here's 27 First News reporter Christina Mullen. A school hallway full on the weekend. Mothers, kids, and infants waiting to get their blood tested for lead. They're the most at risk. Because it's all about neurological development and, and organ development. So those are the growing ages, and um, that's what we really need to find out what their blood levels are today. Three-year-old Temperance, the first person to get tested. She's been drinking Sebring's water since she was born. This is a two-minute test, so they will have the results um, when they leave. Here's how the test works. Temperance had to rub a solution on her hands, then wash them. Next, she had to get her finger pricked. That made her cry a little. Her mom had the test results right away. Temperance tested negative for lead. If it's below 4.9, and then, then there's no blood lead level that we're concerned about. If a blood level is more than 5, then we would refer them, we'll give them a, a document that tells them that they need to contact their physician to follow up. Kara Grainer and her son Grayson are being tested. Kara breastfeeds her baby. She doesn't usually drink Sebring's water. I had been drinking it for about a week before we found out because we'd run out of the bottles of water and I hadn't made it down to the store yet. So yeah, I was a little worried. And she's frustrated that she didn't know about the problem for so long. Any other time there was something wrong, they would put a notice on our door and we'd just go down to the store and get gallons of water. And this time, you know, for so long, you know, why couldn't you have just told us when it first happened? Kara's biggest concern? I, I, I didn't know what lead did to you. It's neurological. Sometimes there's nausea, vomiting, not as bright, not as active um, as they had been in the past. So those are usually the kinds of symptoms that you see. Karen Grayson's test also came back negative for lead in their blood. Now she's on her way home with a list of instructions from the health department. They told us that we have to wash his bottles with the distilled water and just not use the tap water to wash his bottles. So we're going to do that. And then we have to be careful when we're bathing him just to make sure he doesn't get it in his eyes or in his mouth. Reporting in Sebring, Christina Mullen, WKBN 27 First News.